Before we start, I just wanted to let you guys know that my 100,000 subscribers plaque arrived. Thanks so much for subscribing. This wouldn't be possible without every one of you. Lithuania. Today, their flag is this one, a horizontal three-striped flag, yellow, green, and red. The three horizontal stripes keep the trend of their Baltic neighbors of Estonia and Latvia, but those two are for another time. However, Lithuania also has another flag, one that isn't usually seen a lot unless you're from the country or have seen their national team play football. This is that state flag, a red field with a white, gold and light blue knight on a horse. And it's interesting that they still use this flag because it is technically their first flag and the symbols and colors that are at the origin of their representation as a state. So when did this flag become the flag of Lithuania? The south shores of the Baltic Sea were populated by a lot of Baltic tribes. In 1253, Mindaugas, the first king of Lithuania, united some of these lands and created the kingdom of Lithuania. But this kingdom doesn't seem to have had a specific flag, at least not yet. The earliest known flags with a Lithuanian identity were recorded about 200 years later, in the 15th century, Banderia Prutenorum. This Banderia Prutenorum was a manuscript listing 56 banners of the Order of the Teutonic Knights, plus a few others. The title means Blazons of the Prussians, but despite the manuscript being from the 15th century, it shows us flags from way before that. In it, we get a description of battle flags collected from the field after the Battle of Grunwald in 1410 AD. This battle was a major confrontation between the Teutonic Order and the allied forces of the Poles and Lithuanians whom the order was trying to conquer. It is said that the 40 regiments in battle on the side of Lithuania carried a red banner depicting a mounted knight, a flag known as the Vitis, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing this. Interestingly, this wasn't the only symbol the soldiers carried. The Vitis flag was carried by the majority of the army of the Grand Duchy. However, the noble families who were also in battle carried red banners depicting the columns of Gediminas. In this modern recreation of the battle, we can see it on the shields of the soldiers. These columns are one of the earliest symbols of Lithuania, even before it became Catholic. They were used initially as a ruler's personal insignia, and it seems to be the earliest symbol of Lithuania. But anyways, back to the main symbol of the night, the Vitis. It all started in the 13th-14th century, when the Kingdom of Lithuania became the Grand Duchy. It's one of the oldest and few state emblems in Europe that originated from a seal, instead of a coat of arms. It portrays an image of a duke, the Grand Duke Algirdas of Lithuania, but it is said that it only officially became the coat of arms of the ruling dynasty with his successor, the Grand Duke Yogaila. I'm gonna mispronounce a lot of words in this video. He added the double cross to the shield. However, it seems that at times, at least in some depictions, it also shows the columns of Gediminas as a symbol on the shield. The coat of arms was then generalized as the symbol of Lithuania as a whole a few years later by Grand Duke Vitautas in the late 14th century. The colors were established at the beginning of the 15th century. Two kinds of metal, gold and silver, and two of the most important medieval colors used in coats of arms. Ghoul, which is red, and azure, which is blue. The red stood for material and earthly values, including human life courage and readiness for battle, while blue symbolized spiritual values of heaven, the godly wisdom and common sense. It remained the state symbol of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania until 1795, when Lithuania was annexed by the Russian Empire. However, Tsar Nicholas I allowed the regional government to use a similar symbol to represent itself. So let's sum up where we are at in history. In the 13th-14th century, the red flag with a white knight became a symbol for Lithuania's ruler. Then a dynastic coat of arms, 
and then the general symbol for the Grand Duchy. So since the creation of the Grand Duchy, the earliest form of the Lithuanian state, until the 15th century, this was likely to have been the flag. But soon after, the previous allies of Lithuania and Poland became even closer, coming together in union and forming the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. They adopted this flag together, a tricolor, red, white and red, which on top of it had a joint coat of arms of the two states. In it we can see the Polish white eagle and the Lithuanian white horseman. We can also see it in this coin worth 15 ducats during the reign of Sigismund III in 1617. So this was the flag of Lithuania from 1569 to 1795, sometimes suffering small alterations but staying the same. After the fall of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, its territory was divided amongst its neighbors, especially Austria and Russia. And so, Lithuania became under the control of the Russian Empire from 1858 to 1918. During this time, the flags flying over the land were technically the Russian flags. First, the black, yellow and white tricolor, and then the white, blue and red one. However, like we saw earlier, there was a local government for the Lithuania region and the Tsar authorized it to use the knight symbol. So, even during this time, the main Lithuanian symbol remained. Then, in the 20th century, Lithuania regained its independence, in the year of 1918, following the end of World War I. And this is when the current national flag was created. It is said that the reason why they decided to create a new flag was a general drive of European countries to redesign their flags after the end of the war. The inspiration for a tricolor striped flag was supposedly like so many others, the French Revolution. It is not known who originally suggested the colors, but the idea is usually attributed to Lithuanian exiles living elsewhere in Europe or in the United States during this time. These three colors were frequently used in traditional dresses. The national government voted and decided on this flag instead of the historical Vitis banner, and they gave three reasons for this choice. One was they wished to distance themselves from the flag of the Grand Duchy because the Grand Duchy also encompassed now distinct nations such as Belarus and Ukraine. Two, the choice of the color red by revolutionaries which they didn't want to be associated with. And three, the flag with Vitis would be too complicated and could not easily be sewn for mass distribution. However, a compromise is said to have been found. A special commission ruled that the flag should have had the vitis in the upper left corner or in the middle. But when the constitution was written a while later, they forgot or chose not to include this specification. And so the simple tricolor remained as the flag from 1918 to 1940. But this regained Lithuanian independence didn't last very long, because in 1940 they were occupied by the Soviet Union. During the occupation, the Lithuanian Soviet Socialist Republic puppet flew two flags. The first was this red one, with the name of the state in yellow and the hammer and sickle on the left and this was used from 1940 to 1953. In 1953, they changed it up a little. It maintained the hammer and the sickle, adding a star and also a white and green stripe. And this one was used until 1988. It is said that during this Soviet occupation, the symbol of the horsemen and also the columns of Gediminas were used as symbols of resistance and Lithuanian patriotism being painted on walls as forms of protest against the Russians. And then, Independence was finally regained for good, but the restoration of the flag took place still under Soviet rule. During 1988, when the Lithuanian movement towards independence was gaining strength, the Lithuanian Supreme Soviet recognized the tricolor as the national flag once again. After independence was consolidated again in 1990, the tricolor flag was written into the new constitution, being officially adopted in 1992. According to it, the meanings of the colors are, the yellow in the flag is meant to symbolize the sun and prosperity, the green is for the forests, the countryside, liberty and hope, 
and the red represents, guess what, the blood and bravery of those who have died for Lithuania. But this regained independence and establishment as a new modern state did not make them forget their historical symbols. In 2004, to honor the 750th anniversary of the coronation of Mindaugas, the first king, it was proposed that the historical red flag with the white knight should be used as the state flag simultaneously with the modern tricolor. So these two are the flags of Lithuania today. Internally, the historical symbols are also present in other flags. The naval ensign is a blue cross on a white field with the modern tricolor on the top left, but the naval jack is simply the state flag, while the military ensign is a red field with the columns of Gediminas in gold. Something incredible that modern military used the same symbol that medieval Lithuanian soldiers used in that battle of the 15th century, 600 or 700 years ago. The presidential standard is the coat of arms on a field of darker red, supported by what seems to be a griffin and a unicorn in white. Regionally, the various counties of Lithuania also have their own banners, with their current forms being defined in 2004 as well. I obviously won't get into each of them because we'd never end this video, but it's very interesting to see how each of them has their own emblems and symbols, referring to the history of each specific region. So that is a brief history of the flag of Lithuania, its evolution, the meaning of its symbols, and the moments throughout history where they were used, and that define changes and adoptions of each banner or flag. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe so you can catch all the future videos. If you notice any mistakes or if you have any additional information about Lithuania's flag and its history, please leave a comment below. I will see you next time for more general knowledge.